Yo, you know what it is, man. The Kid Court says, Brooklyn, New York. If you don't know who I am, world famous battle rapper. Right for day, of course. This is blackout. I'm supposed to take light away. Recording yeah. artists. Pots in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. More fitness supply to hold this. Whatever you want to call it, Cortez is a blame. Okay, the streets keep calling me. Gave the game all of me. Even gave consignment out, but they avoided me. Meet me at the bodega. You might have heard him. Meet me at the bodega. Don't do me no favor. Talking about the cocaina. Whipping water, aquafina. A lot of people ask me what are my influences. And to be honest with you, as an artist, your influences have to be what culture is. Growing up in Brooklyn, being Latino, surrounded by predominantly blacks and just minorities in general, like we all were stacked with the odds against us. And my point of view, being Latino, is a very unique experience. And I think that's what helps my music connect with people. From an early age, like hip hop, I'm a 90s kid. Hip hop was a major influence, but I cannot deny the fact that those influences derive from my step pops. He used to play classic rock and roll, the Beatles, Elton John. And then at the same time, my mother, she was like a salsa queen, you know? And I would just hear all this music as a kid growing up. You know, my mother's doing her hair, Getting ready to go out or getting ready for work in the morning and I'm hearing Gran Combo. And, and Hector Lavoe. I get in the car with my step pops and he's driving me to school and he's playing Elvis and the Beatles. Early on I learned sound, I learned melodies, I learned hooks, I learned what's catchy. You know, like real song structure. So when I got into hip hop and I started creating music, I had all these different elements and influences that would catch my ear early on. You know, the one thing that I feel like I love about being Latino is the fact that we always stick together. I learned that early on. Like my grandfather was a huge baseball fan growing up in the 50s and 60s. He would just be like so supportive of all the Latin players that were in the MLB. Growing up, you see the boxing fights, you see Julio Cesar Chavez, and you see Felix Trinidad. And that pride runs deep within our culture. We all like stick together, Bernie Williams and all these people. And, and I just learned that, like just seeing from my parents that people stick together. I've seen that traveling the world. I remember the first time in LA, I went out there to do a battle and uh, see nothing but cholos. But the fact that they were all out there and they was like, hey, we here to see you, Cortez. This is our only chance to see you. It let me know that, you know, the culture and the people that are behind me is a great deal. I represent not just Cortez, not just my family, but I represent a whole demographic, you know? I mean, really think about it. I'm the biggest Latino in the history of battle rap. Track, phone, busy, call back, call the yeah, specs, hey, Seuss, and all black. Yeah, you know what it is, man, the Kid Cortez, Brooklyn, but I was raised by Latinos. Might get a little chopped cheese here, you know, at the bodega, you heard? Fuck with me.